Guys, what is going on? It is so good to see you guys again. Man, I missed y'all. You know what I mean? I did. If y'all missed me too, make sure to smash that like for me. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. So, upgrades, guys. We got upgrades, upgrades. Yes, things have come in the mail. Now, this is only some of it. It's fine. He said, man, you bought more upgrades for that car i say well not just for this car i'm actually building two cars let me introduce to you guys the original tamaya grasshopper now this is an upgraded version because it has the aluminum front right there you see that that holds up the shocks the shock selling are the original upgraded shocks that you can get now this thing is a beast of a car let me tell you what you cannot break this thing I mean, we used to beat the crap out of these things and couldn't break it. Well, anyway, we're going to take this and turn it into this. Now, once it's all done, it's going to look so different. So this is the before shot real bad, and it's going to need some new parts. Uh, we have some, we cracked the, uh, the rear diff here and stuff and, uh, but Basically, it needs to be rebuilt from top to bottom. So anyway, let's get into the upgrade parts that we got for this thing. Let's open it. Let's see what this is. Oh, we actually got a couple of things here. All right. So these, oh, these are the hub extenders. Okay. So... What it is is that you want to run the, the tires that go on this car are really little and you want to take it to one tenth scale size tires. So you need this little aluminum adapters that go on it. So we went ahead and picked those up. That's what this is. This is really cool too. This is like an all in one kind of solution here. It's a sway bar kit, right? But it's also the shock mounting kit. Can you see how these shocks are mounted to the rear to this uh what is i don't know the transmission part of the drive right here in actuality it's supposed to be mounted over here that's how the manufacturer has it and then you can upgrade them by getting these like plastic clips you see those plastic clips that slide down and that's what the actual shock is attached to is this little plastic thing well that's what this is this slides down over the rear like that and then you mount your shocks onto the back part of this thing and this is really important you got to have a sway bar kit on this thing so this is a major major upgrade improvement uh, not only do we get to put the shocks in a more comfortable position but we also are going to tighten up the back end so important gotta have it moving on Ooh, okay, so this, this is pretty cool. This is alum, uh, copper, aluminum. Maybe it's made out of copper. It has like a copper appeal to it, but it's definitely not as soft as copper, so I'm assuming it's aluminum. Well, anyway, this piece right here, this is a very important piece. If I can direct your attention to this part right here. Do you see this part right here, this plastic piece? This actually holds in the arms. The arms are just on a little slot right there, okay? They just sit there. And then this plastic piece actually holds in your arms. So if this was to break, the front of the arms would just fall out of the frame. So what this is, this is a direct replacement. So you can see that it will go right there. Right where this piece is, that's where that one will go. And it will significantly strengthen the front end of it you can see that i don't know if you can see it but this piece is bent it's bent like a u and that's from all the pounding and wear on it from the shocks and then from you know front impacts so this upgraded part is going to make a night and day difference big time la 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 awesome oh yeah awesome check these out y'all can y'all see these these are tires yo these are the tires now in the picture of the upgraded grasshopper this one 
you can see in that picture that these are the tires that are on that truck or on the, or in that picture so that's what's going to go on this one So this is a one tenth scale tire and this is a one eighth scale. So the one tenth scale fits, it's basically the size of that rim. That's what it looks like. So one eighth, one tenth, pretty cool, right? Well, anyway, these are the front tires, I think. I don't know, they look like they're about the same diameter. They do need to be glued, that's not a problem. Maybe I can do a tutorial video on how to de-glue them, meaning like if you want to get the tire off, what you do is you boil the tire in hot water, and then you'll be able to break that seal and pull these tires right off. And then to glue them, well that's another story, you just run that lip back and put a little glue in there and do it one piece at a time. You can even use a rubber band to squish it down onto the rim to ensure that you get a good tight fit. But that's what these go. As you can see, these don't, they don't fit. See, they don't fit. So that's what those adapters are for. So it will go on like that. And it already looks good like that. That's awesome, man. I can't wait. So anyway, I wanted to introduce this new project to you guys. This is the Grasshopper. The Tamiya, Tamaya, however you want to pronounce it, Grasshopper. Y'all look it up. It's actually a cool little vehicle. Um, we're going to upgrade this. This is a secondary project. We're waiting all these parts to come in from China, so that will be a little bit. Uh, meanwhile, though, we will keep focusing on this. Open. Oh, yeah, word. Yo, these came. Yo, you guys are going to love this. Yo, check this out. Check this out. Check it, check it, check it. One, two, check it. Watch this. Look, these are so awesome. Woo, these are cool. Check it, check it. Mic one, two, check. All right, check it out. See it? Look, they look like Captain America shields, right? Oh, yes. But you know what they really are? They're lug nuts, son. Yes, they're lug nuts, bro. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, see the tire? The lug nut is on the tire. That is how the tire is mounted, like that, right? Now let me show you with our new lug nuts on. Look at that. Big difference, right? Doesn't that look so much better? Oh yes it does. Man, that's gonna look so cool. See, it's the little details like that, guys, that really make your truck stand out. So yeah, Captain America lug nut shields. Awesome. Came in the mail, guys. The other stabilizer. Sweet. So we have the rear stabilizer. Now we have the front stabilizer. Man, the aluminum, the machine job on these are just incredible. It is so beautiful. It really is. So good. We got the front and the back. Now we're just waiting. See, I don't want to put the car together because I got all these upgrades coming. Like we're getting rid of these differentials. We're going to one ways and one ways are way better and I'll explain to you what a one way is. This is the rear tranny. We bought this aluminum and the housing and everything. That's all plastic, but we bought it all aluminum. We also bought upgraded shims and we got the upgraded gearboxes. I bought a front and a back. That was 90 bucks. It was about $40 a piece for the front and back. I said, forget it. Might as well just go ahead and drop the money on it now and be done with it. So without putting the car together, we're going to wait until we get all of the upgrades and then we're going to work on it. Once we get this car completely kitted out and fixed, we are then going to focus in on the Grasshopper project. Now this one's going to take a little bit more love and caring, but I think it'll be a good series for you guys to check out with me. Um, a pigtail wiring harness kit for the lights. Uh, we plan on running lights on the truck, which you guys already know I put headlights on it and underbody lights. Well, the problem is, is that there's a bunch of plugs and I only have one, I only have one spot to put it in. So you need a adapter. So these are pigtails um, or a Y adapter, two to one, basically very important. But we got the new aluminum shocks coming. Uh, those are the battery secure bag things. 
Um, this is our smart battery checker that's coming. Um, that's the aluminum rear support bracket thing that I told you guys that I ordered. Those are that. That's the steering linkage. Uh, these are the front and back complete kits. Um, they hold basically the arms to it. There's our steering assembly. There is the top aluminum uh, bracket thing. Basically, it's uh, it's this piece, right? But I got it in all of aluminum. It's a much more stronger upgraded version than the plastic piece. That's good. And then there's our new differential right there. Uh, there's our new one way. Um, that was that thing that got delivered today. This is grease for the transmissions. Uh, this is the whole front aluminum assembly that we needed. Um, arriving April, April, April. Uh, these are body stops for the top. I'll explain to you what those are. This is the other one way. This is for the center. This is the center one way. That's that aluminum thing right there. This piece right there that's what that is that's the upgraded version of it that's coming um, and then we got those wire adapters today uh, those aluminum spacers we got those on the way these are the rear RPM arms that's our battery kit uh, the adapter the front aluminum arm uh, brace the rear brace the original that's the original thing that we bought that it never came through. And then we got the hot wheel or the hot <laughs> hot wheels, hot racing aluminum hubs. There's the steering adapters. Um, there's the upgraded for that. Those are the CVDs. That's a balancer. That's the front. Look at it. I got tires that I ordered for the truck. They still haven't arrived yet. They'll be here. I don't know when. And then these are other parts that I've ordered for uh, the car and the grasshopper as well. There's the wing that we bought. There's our new saw, some jewelry for my wife, jewelry for my wife. There's the truck, bunch of other things. So anyway, yeah, we got stuff coming. It'll be here shortly. But if you want, if you have questions about any of this stuff, ask me. I'll tell you where I got it from. I'll see you guys later. Peace.